Hello everybody, Fixer here, welcome back to Pillars of the Earth. So it's been a, a few days since I've played this game due to our, our pal Hurricane <laughs> Harvey. Um, where was I, man? Tom needs work, I must keep an eye out for things to repair. That's right, I gotta find holes in the walls. Princess told me the Earl is expecting an attack. Okay, I've got some food in my slingshot. Can I tell mom about this? There's going to be an attack, yo. The Lady Aliena thinks there will be an attack. Here, go find Tom and tell him. <laughs> okay. Tom wouldn't find work here. <laughs> okay. Um, so we got to find places like the well. Can, the well looks like something you can fix, right? The well is ramshackle. I agree. All right. Well, that worked. Let's go somewhere else. Faster. That's what I'm talking about. Um. I would say this, but there's no icon on there. What else do we got? Walk back. No. Walk up the wall. I'm right there, in case you can't tell. Can I, can I just... Wait, is it just the well? Wait a minute. Let's let's go talk to Tom. Where's Tom at? He's over here somewhere, right? Um. Wait, where is he? The West End? No, wait. I thought he was over here. But you can't go to the stable. Oh boy. Nope, he's not in here. Oh! He's not here either. Oh, there he is! Derp. Alright, well is ramshackle, yo. The well is in bad repair. It is? Yeah, very good, Jack. That's one thing the Earl needs to get fixed for sure. Now, see if you can spot any more damage. Even better. Keep an ear out for gossip about the Earl. If we can figure out what kind of man he is, we might learn what's important to him. Please, Tom, I've got you covered. Tom needs work, I must keep an eye out. All right, more things. Here, Tom, we're gonna get invaded. Lady Aliena is expecting an attack. An attack? So the Earl is planning to go to battle. That's very helpful, Jack. Now, see if you can spot any more damage. Do I have to do all the work for you? Do I have to do the repairs as well? Jesus. Alright, I'm... I feel like this is Battlements. There you go. That wasn't there before, was it? Was I blind? Pardon me, sir. Um... How do you feel about the Battlements, sir? There is a wall crumbling. Well, it's a good thing that we aren't going to battle soon, isn't it? Um, about that, I wonder if I could have, I should have shown him the thing first, right? Got his opinion. No big deal. All right, the wall is crumbling. Tom. The battlements are broken. I noticed that already. Now, see if you can spot one more area of damage. Gotcha. Um, let's go in the keep first. Matthew's damage, does that count? I don't think there's anything in here. Oh! Look at that! It looks broken, don't it? Oops, I clicked off my screen. Oh no! Did the game crash? Nope, there we are. There you go, Tom. There is a wall without mortar. If that's true, you have a very keen eye. Well, that should do for now. Now, yeah, stay sharp. The lips seem to be not moving very much. You did a very good job, son. Now, come along. You deserve to see if it works. Fantastic. Oh, boy. Look, I'd like to give you work, but we don't need you. Au contraire! I just hope you're not expecting a siege soon. 
Why do you say that? Your defenses are in bad repair. Be specific, man. The mortar in your walls has come away in places. This leaves an opening for a crowbar, and once there's a hole, it's easy to pull the entire wall down. Anything else? Yeah. The keep has an undercroft with a wooden door. If I were attacking the keep, I'd go through that door and start a fire in the stores. And if you were the Earl, how would you prevent that? I'd have a pile of stone, ready shaped, and a supply of sand and lime for mortar. And a mason standing by ready to block up that doorway in times of danger. That's me, or you? Matthew, may I have a word with you? Hell yeah! I better get a commission on this, Tom. Well, we have a home. For now. You know, oh. this is all thanks to your son and... What did he do? He did what you were supposed to do. He kept an eye and an ear out, and finally helped me convince the Earl. Uh-oh. Grab your things, everyone, and follow me. Shitlord's not gonna be happy it's time with we me. put a roof over our heads. <laughs> and thus, Tom Builder had finally found work. Little did we know then that it wouldn't last for long. Front row. Holy cow! Achievement unlocked. Friends of sorts. You gave Martha the, your straw knight to help her be brave. You and your new family reached Earl's castle. You ignored that Alfred was hungry, but it seems he has warmed up to you. I didn't... He, he... Oh, I did ignore him, didn't I? Did I? I thought I gave him some. I don't know. This has been a few days. You earned Sir Catface's trust and learned his secret. You told Eliana about Jack's father. You found William Hamley's letter to A Lady Eliana, and you helped Tom find. I I feel like that was a very good um, chapter. I I completed that. I think as well as you possibly could have, with the exception of maybe shitface Alfred. Whatever. Let's start a new chapter. Chapter four. The Prior of Kingsbridge. Kingsbridge later that day. It's good you sent your brother to tell your flock in St. John's about your nomination. If you'd gone yourself, they might not have let you leave again. Thank you, Milius. There's a good chance I will return to St. John's after the election today. Why so pessimistic? Many of the brothers still want Remigius to become prior. Lock him up? Philip. <laughs> yes? There was an incident. With one of our novices. Oh boy. What kind of incident? Remigius caned him. He was bleeding all over. He could barely walk, but walk he did. He called out for him, but he did not turn around. He never looked back. He ran away? He is not the first. And it wasn't the first time Brother Marcus was punished either. Brother Marcus? Oops. Yes. He stole my keys and food. You reported him to Remigius. Sorry about that. I did, but he is practically a child. <sighs> Remigius really goes too far. Oh boy, that's my fault. Last year he hit a novice. A poor soul became deaf in one ear. Damn. <sighs> Tell me, Philip, what will be the first thing that you do when you're elected? Cain uh, Remedius, obviously. Oh, um, we will repair the cathedral. We will build a scriptorium. We must not cane our novices. We must become self-sufficient. Hmm. I don't like questions like this. The first thing I do is not cane our novices. Well, yeah, of course. Um... Must be self-sufficient. It's an interesting selection. Um, we're not going to king people, though. We must not cane our novices. No, no, we must not. Deus caritas est. I remember that I found words carved into wood in the mill. A brother named Thomas wrote them. He wrote about Canaan's as well. Thomas? 
Yes, he left as well, over a year ago. It was the same as with Brother Marcus. Remigius. We'll put an end to this, brothers. Yes. We got this. I will talk to him about it, no matter if I'm elected prior or not. Let's do it. Uh -oh. You cannot go in there. What was that? That's an, uh, sounds like an awful lot of people. Who are these people? Hey! Step back. Step back, I said. What how is going on How many out people there? are out there? Soldiers? Did they start a war again? Those fools. Philip! It's Francis. They have Francis. And the baby? Francis. Um... Alright, where am I? Alright, I'm over here. Monks! Let's talk to the monks first. They're scared. They said they're looking for someone. They were questioning some of our brothers. Are they looking for Tom Builder, I'm guessing? Um, they were questioning our brothers? Yes, in the prior's house. What is happening, Brother Philip? I intend to find out. I do. Oh, let's talk to Milius and Cuthbert first. Let's see if we can gather as much info as we can before we actually talk to what them. What is this? It's an invasion, that's what it is. Alright, don't get too carried away, Cuthbert. No, I have to find my brother. No, I have to find my brother. Oh, okay, sorry. I am telling you, it was the bishop. You fool! I would have been informed if the bishop was visiting. But I... You... Silence! So the bishop may be visiting? Maybe. Can I actually go inside? Oh, I can. Is... Hold on, before What's we talk... What's your name? Uh oh It would be easier for us all if you just came with us. <laughs> what about the child? Is it yours? <laughs> Francis. So what's like it or not, you'll be coming with us. No, 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 no. What is we Francis doing here? You. Who are these men? You must be mistaken. We got your description. Hold on. If it fits a man, we bring him in. It fits you, I so can't... we're bringing you in. Oh boy. What, what does the word of God say? It's not the time to consult scripture. Oh! He's holding it like a Now woman. you're talking something nice, speaker. Are you breastfeeding it? What is this guy, a child? What are you doing here? And who is... Who is that? I found him. In the woods. Hey! They're not gonna believe hey. you, buddy. We fed him goat's milk in St. John's. Johnny Aitpence did. He says he misses you. He was always very sentimental. Hey! Philip, you must not tell these men my name. My Lord Robert of Gloucester believes me to be in Winchester. The bishop received the letter from me anonymously. These men are with the bishop. He is here in Kingsbridge. The bishop has come for us. May God have mercy on us. You were right. I shouldn't have got us involved in the conspiracy. God damn it. Hey, you two. You should listen when you're spoken to. They didn't hear any of that, did they? What about the child? Did you make it? Did you two do it and make a little baby? Really? <laughs> By God, you look so funny. This is the guy that looks Come like on. Shaggy. Let me hold him. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta lie here then, eh? A name. Or both of your names. Reprimand for blasphemy? Come on, you two. Give us something we can work with. The child is under my protection. Oh, is it now? <laughs> Good for you, monk. What's your name? None of your beeswax. And don't pretend you can't talk, because I'm sick of listening to you. I am Philip. Philip of Gwyneth. Hmm. It's him we're looking for, not the other one. Oops. Monks, they all look alike. <laughs> Oops. We were looking for you. Bishop Whalerun wants to see you. Oh. We found him. 
He's here. Tell the bishop. They found the monk. The bishop. Tell the bishop. Go on, monk. We'll all keep an eye on you. You will be safe. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? So okay. So, what can I interact with? Absolutely nothing. Okay. That's him. That's a man. Let him wait. Santa Maria Mata de Ora pro nobis pecatoribus. Santa Maria Mata de Ora pro nobis pecatoribus. Okay. I thought he would at least be taller than me. <laughs> oh, I'm not taller than you. Sorry, Jesus. What is going on here? Actually, you look pretty tall. I don't know. Philip of Gwyneth. The bishop knows he's here. We told him. He's expecting you. Santa Maria Mata de Santa Maria Mata. Bishop has come for me. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Oh, I was clicking on the house and not the guy. Oh, Philip he's with Gwyneth. jerk face. Come closer. We were looking for you. Oh boy. The right reverend Bishop Whaler and by God. Screw you. I hear you've done good work at that little cell in the forest. <coughs> I I am surprised you know about it. <clears throat> As bishop, I am the ex officio abbot of Kingsbridge, so I am bound to take an interest. Okay. Well, God has blessed us at St. John's. I don't trust this guy. I wish God would confer similar blessings on Kingsbridge Priory. Boy. You may wonder what I am doing here, Philip of Gwyneth. I am indeed. I received a letter from Jerkface from an anonymous source. The source disclosed only that it was found here in Kingsbridge Priory. So, you know of it. I do. This letter, it reeks of betrayal. It reeks of those who betray the trust that we all bestowed in them. Of those who betray God. Oh boy. Confess involvement with Francis. Confess involvement. Ooh. I'm leaving Francis out of this. Yep, I'm leaving him out. Right, Reverend. It was I who found the letter. I know its content. Mm. So you know of the war. God thunders wondrously with his voice. He does great things that we cannot comprehend. The book of Job. But this is not the work of God, but of Earl Bartholomew. Remigius told me it could only have been you. You old jerk! I meant to do well by our church. Our brother Paul found the message on a dying night. He, in turn, handed it to Prior James. May God rest his soul in peace. So that's why you insisted none of his books should be burnt? No, there are many reasons not to burn all this. It was Prior James's last wish for all this to be burnt, wasn't it, Remigius? Yes, yes it was. You told me about this. Yes, my bishop. My bishop. It was not I who sent you the letter. But the man who sent it had the well-being of the church in mind. <laughs> Remigius, he told me everything I need to know. Philip, you do not look well. What is the matter? Oh no! Tell me. Who are these men look who were these men looking for me? Soldiers invaded the priory. Oh boy. Um, let's go with it, because this, using the word invaded, um, it, it's, 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 there's too much conflict in that word, right? This, this is more inquisitive. These men who were looking for me, who are they? And why are they here? Oh, them, of course. I have gotten too used to the presence of knights and nobles. <laughs> The work of a bishop. 
God, this music's so good. The reason good. why these men are outside right now is your letter, Philip. <sighs> As I suspected, it did convince my allies to go against the Earl of Shiring. Now that you have confirmed the authenticity of this document, they will stop at nothing. Earl Bartholomew is a dangerous man. His plan to attack King Stephen is likewise an attack on the church. These allies of mine insisted that their knights should accompany me along with their son. And very soon, they will ride against the Earl. Okay, this is going I okay. I understand, my bishop. But I have a bad feeling still. Why? Philip, I have the feeling that there is a storm rising. Oh, no, winter's not coming, is it? Right here, in Kingsbridge. And in the eye of that storm stands one man. You. Around you, things... Things begin moving. Don't they, Remedius? In your face, Remedius! Yes. Yeah, you little prick. But there is one important thing you have kept from me. Oh no, he knows there about is. Francis! My I screwed bishop. up! You did not mention that you, oh. were nominated to be prior of Kingsbridge. I... The brothers here will elect their new prior today, will they not? The election will take place in a few hours, my bishop. We need a strong prior. James was my friend, but a strong prior he was not. We are in agreement on these matters, are we not, Remigius? Of course, right, Reverend. Uh, the bishop and I agreed you should have this. Oh, I got the rosary! Let's inspect that. It was fun. Uh... Prior to James Rosary, it was found by Subprior Remedius at the river near the spot where Kingsbridge's old prior is believed to have broken into the ice. To this day, James's grave in the cathedral remains empty. The icy stream most likely carried the prior's body away. The monks believe that James was chased onto the ice in the small hours of Christmas Day. Some believe by the devil himself. But who is to tell what happened? For there was no one out on the river that night aside from Prior James was there. Wait! For there was no one out on the river that night aside from Prior James, was there? Awkward sentence. Philip received the rosary in January of 1136 from Remigius and Bishop Walleran. As a token of goodwill and trust on the day of the election of the new Prior of Kingsbridge. Well, I feel like everything's going so well that I'm doing something wrong in it. Very well. I want to get screwed. Now, when your distinguished guests arrive... What will be the subject of your first sermon as the new prior? Oh, the caning! Oh, no! Talk about how a prior is not superior. Talk about courage and change. I think that this guy, this bishop, would react to the courage and change thing. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. This is a weird decision, right? And this is another thing I don't like about these types of games. That they give me an either-or decision here when you can perfectly, easily do both. Um, but I'm going to go with Courage and Change because it feels like he would react well to that, right? Because of the way... He... Uh, yeah. I think what I would talk about is... I beg your forgiveness, but I do not understand. Most of your brothers agree with me on this matter. What? Remigius has talked to them. They will vote for you. As will I. And I will support you in your duties in my role as sub prime What just happened? A role you have fulfilled wonderfully in the past, Remigius. Wonderfully. My bishop? Did something just bug out? Philip of Gwyneth. You will be the new prior of Kingsbridge. Oh. I feel like I just had a bug. It didn't address what I said. In humbleness, I stand before you, most humbled by your trust and humbled by the great tasks ahead of us. We must restore Kingsbridge to do justice to the glory of God and to his mercy. The desperate 
and the hopeless everywhere shall hear our bells. They shall see our towering cathedral. Our great church will become a guiding light, but first and foremost, through our actions and our faith, we ourselves shall be such a light, a light to the lost, the hurt, and the suffering on their path to God. The Earl of Shiring is not in attendance, it seems. He is not. Shameful. He's busy preparing his siege on Winchester. I trust he does not know we are about to foil his plans, Percy. There is never... Answer the bishop, my husband. No, no, he does not expect us. Not at all. My men are ready. A good Percy. So is our son. Excellent. Well, who are these people? You can never trust a Percy. Ever. Excellent. Ever since the Green Mile, you can't trust a Percy. Oh boy. There you are. Uh oh, where'd the guy go? And how come. matter? Did I have a father? Yes. Everyone has a father. Um, yeah, what happened to him, yo? What happened to him? He died before you were born. How could he be my father if he died before I was born? Oh, Babies grow from a seed. The seed comes out of a man's prick and is planted in a woman's cunny. Then ah. the seed grows into a baby in her belly, and when it's ready, it comes out. Okay. Is Tom going to plant a seed? What is this? Why did you never tell me about father? What, what? What's going on here? Why did you never tell me? About father, I mean. I needed you to be older. Trust me, once the time is right, I will tell you everything. I promise. What was my father's name? Jack. The same as you. They called him Jack Sherberg. So, if there's another Jack, I can tell people that I'm Jack Jackson? <laughs> you can. People don't always call you what you want them to. But you can try. Bad news. What is that? Jack, find the others. Then hide and don't come out till I tell you. Shit's about to hit the fan! Oh boy. What you did, you have become Pyre of Kingsbridge. Walloran does as you ask. His allies, the Hamleys, attack Earl's castle. You did not tell Bishop Wellerin about Francis' involvement, which I'm very proud of, by the way, that I, that didn't turn out to bite me in the ass, at least not yet. The thief who reported Brother Marcus fled the Priory after a severe caning. Okay. Could have turned out a lot worse than it did. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. We're good to go. I'm excited to see where this is going. Man, the, um, the voice acting is so good. My only complaint is that it, there seems to be too much of a pause when there's dialogue, when there's back and forth between two characters, right? And it feels like the game has to load up the the next line or something. I don't know what it is, but it feels like it, it's not very smooth going back and forth. It's there's too much of a pause. But I, I don't know. I like the dialogue. I think the voice acting is fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. Um, but that's it for this episode. We'll see you in the next chapter. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.